Hey guys, welcome to Tiger Tank. Are you undecided on which operating system to get? Is either Apple or Microsoft's Windows? Well, one thing that's good about owning a Mac is you have the freedom of choosing either or. So you can have both, best of both worlds, in terms of Microsoft's Windows 7 and Apple's OS X No Leopard. So how you do that is that you use Bootcam to install Windows 7, XP, or Vista. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install Windows 7 onto your Mac. So the program obviously we're gonna be using is Bootcamp. So we're going to Spotlight and we'll just type in Bootcamp. And there it is, Bootcamp Assistance. There's another way to go to this, is to go into Applications, scroll down, go into Utilities, and there it is, Bootcamp Assistance. And here we just press Continue. And here we're going to choose how much of storage do you want for your Windows partition. So I'm looking about like, I heard Windows 7, you need about minimum 7 gigabyte. I'm going to put about 25 gigabyte. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll go partition this. So now it has finished partitioning the drive and the next thing you guys have to do is install your Windows 7 CD. So there it is. Make sure it's readable. And if you don't have a legitimate copy, obviously write the serial number down. And we'll go ahead and click Start Installation. Now that I have clicked the Installation button, the computer will be rebooting into Windows 7 setup. So it's just going to be like a regular Windows 7 setup. What the problem is that it will stop my screen flow recording, the screen recording. So I'm going to be Continuing the video on my Handycam. So right now we're just restarting the MacBook. We should be going into Windows 7 setup right now. So there it is. The Windows 7 setup usually takes about, it depends on your Mac, but it usually takes about maybe 30 to 35 minutes, maximum 45 minutes. So I stopped the earlier loading just to save some time. So here we go, starting Windows. So this is a typical Windows 7 setup. So we click on English. The Bluetooth doesn't work, so we need the driver for that. Let's put accept. We just go to custom advanced and choose your partition. The partition that we're going to choose is the bootcamp partition over here. So click on that. So we'll just wait till the installation is complete. So I'm still waiting for the installation. What it says here is that Windows will restart several times during this installation. So that is a norm. So if your computer does restart, don't panic. So right now it's saying that installation is almost complete and it's going to be restarting again. So we should restart into um, Windows 7. As you can see, waiting is the name of the game here. So right now we have this little glowing light. And it's saying setup is preparing your computer for the first use. Setup is checking video performance. The light looks almost like alien. It looks pretty cool. So here we go. Right now we just have to name our Windows 7. So I'll just name the Tiger Tech. So this is just pretty standard procedure. Oops, no caps, I guess. So right now it's just asking us for our password. So I'm just putting my password here. Put in my hint, 
font name. So the next screen is asking for our product key. So I'll just key that in. You can also click automatically activate Windows when I'm online. So if you're online, you can just press next if you have a legitimate copy. And it should enter the product key for you. But I'll just enter it in anyways. So right now it's asking me for permission to scan for Windows Update. So I'm just going to put choose recommended settings. Here we're just going to choose our time. Eastern Standard. So all you have to do is just follow the steps. And it's very late right now here. It's 3.37 a.m. There's my Wi-Fi. So here it is, Windows 7 Professional. It's just setting it up right now. It's almost done. So now we're in Windows. Right now I took out the Windows 7 CD and I just put in the Snow Leopard CD just for the drivers. Right now all of my buttons aren't working. So it should load up by itself. So as soon as I put in the CD, it did recognize it and it got me to this page where it says asking me to welcome to the bootcamp installer. And I just press agree and just follow the steps here. And right now it's just going to be installing all the drivers, the necessary drivers to run the machine for Windows. So that's it guys. It's done. So now we're just going to give it a quick restart and it should ask us whether if we want to log into Windows or not. Now that we have installed Windows 7, the way that we can get into Windows 7 is all we have to do is click on the option button while it restarts and it will give you two options here, Macintosh HD or Windows. And if we click Windows, it should take us to Windows 7. So after installing the drivers, everything is working perfectly. All my um, peripherals are working. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you liked this video, I hope it helped and um, stay tuned to Tiger Tech for more reviews, tutorials and giveaways. Thanks.